So I'll just do a little video on surface mount soldering. Everyone seems to think soldering these tiny chips is impossible but it's not very hard if you've got the right tools and uh, with a bit of practice it's really quite easy. To do this you'll need a liquid flux pen, some solder, I use 0.5mm solder, it's leaded solder, it just makes it that much easier. Lead free solder tends to be a little bit harder to work with. You'll need some tweezers and of course your components. Often these components will come vacuum packed so they don't oxidize from the moisture in the air. It's good to keep them in the pack until you're about to use them because once they're oxidized they're very hard to work with and they won't reflow properly. Having a decent soldering station like this one will really help. We'll be using both the iron and the hot air gun. It's important that they're temperature controlled and once you've done a bit of soldering you'll get used to good temperatures for your station. Mine's currently set to 350 for the iron and 280 for the hot air gun. First we want to tin the board. Start by applying some flux on all the pads. Then with a nice clean tip on your soldering iron, apply a bit of solder onto the iron and quickly go over the pads. Be careful not to scrape the pads off. If you've done this correctly you'll see that all the pads are coated evenly with solder. There will be no bridges. If there are, apply a bit more flux and quickly go over it with the iron. Make sure your iron's hot enough and make sure the tip is clean. If you've decided on the components you're going to solder, you want to put flux on the bottom of each component. It's a good idea to do groups of components that are close to each other at the same time. Just make sure the pads and pins somewhat line up. The devices will centre themselves later. Once you're happy with the placement of your devices, it's time to start using the hot air gun to reflow them. Start by holding the gun fairly high up to preheat the board. By preheating the board, it stops the board from cracking or warping or the device is being damaged. Do this for about 30 seconds to a minute. Once you're happy that the board has been preheated, you can take the nozzle down to each component, about a centimetre away from them. You can use your tweezers to nudge them in place. They should bounce back when they're soldered on. It might take a few goes to get them just in the right place, especially with the finer pitch components they have a tendency to jump along their pins. You can always go back over them later on.